girl, you're not just fine. You're... <laughs> hey, what is up guys, MKBHD here. And when we got these new MacBook Pros with you know the new touch bar and Thunderbolt 3, USB Type-C, all that fun stuff, we also got this, which is the new LG Ultrafine 5K 27 inch display. And when this first came out, we basically came to two conclusions. One, that Apple is sadly pretty much not in the display business anymore. We, as much as we loved the cinema display and the IMAX display, and as much as we really wanted just like a standalone 5K Apple display for Mac, it's probably never gonna happen. But number two, which is the upside, is Apple basically worked with LG to make this display, the one that they sell in the Apple store, and this one as good as possible for this MacBook Pro. So naturally now our question is, how good is this? How well does it work with the MacBook Pro? How good is it of an actual display? That's what I'm here to find out. I'm gonna unbox it and set it up. I've also already set up a new MacBook Pro with touch bar, so it's the same unboxing experience as the one without the touch bar, so I'll leave a link to that video if you wanna watch it. But this is a 15 inch, it's maxed out, it's got the highest end specs, and I've been dabbling with the idea of replacing my trash can Mac Pro with it. So that's what I'm gonna find out. So let's go ahead and see what's, uh, what's in the box. Okay, so this is the actual display, pretty clean matte black panel wrapped up in this tin foil hat. Oh, well that's kind of nice. That is kind of nice. So it looks like it also comes with this accessory box. I'm guessing there's a power cable and maybe some other input, paperwork. All right. Uh, this looks like a Visa mount, so if I wanted to mount it like on a wall, I could do it with this. And our cables, just one Thunderbolt cable and one power cable, which makes sense. That's pretty much all you'll need for a Mac. So this is the power cable here, and it plugs where you'd expect, right here. There's no cable management at all, so I guess it'll just go straight to the wall. And then of course, we plug in by a Thunderbolt. One of them's highlighted in the back, so I'm gonna plug it into that. And the other one, I will plug into the left uppermost Thunderbolt port in the new MacBook Pro. Okay, can I change the brightness is the question. Nope, just this own brightness right here. Oh, but I can change the brightness. Okay, good. Okay, so first thing I noticed, which is actually kind of an advantage, is this monitor is now charging the MacBook Pro. You can see it's adding battery, and all it's doing is being plugged into the monitor via this one cable. So you're getting video output and charging. It's just taking it in from the wall and charging this. That's an advantage. That's kind of what you get when working with Apple. Now something this monitor also has is speakers, so I'm gonna try to listen to them real quick. It's got some decent volume to it. The speakers in here, they're built in obviously, so they're not gonna be that great, but they're about on par, I'd say, with the built-in ones in the iMac. And then actually moving over to put some content on it, I'll go ahead and drag over this video real quick. This is the main advantage of a display like this is having the ability to watch full screen, native 4K, or even above 4K content. And for someone like me who's a video editor, that's gonna mean I can have a native 4K video editing window plus some extra pixels around it to actually use Final Cut Pro. So having two displays, or if you're in my case, waiting for a second one to have two of these displays plugged into one laptop, could get kind of interesting. Now on the back of this monitor, you actually get three more ports. Now they're not full size USB or anything, but you do get three more Thunderbolt ports. So if you're really deep in the Thunderbolt accessory game already, then you can get into Thunderbolt 3 stuff through the back of this monitor and use the ports on the laptop. So that's at least expanding how many total ports you have. Now you have seven total instead of four. So the idea here is this is just part one. Like I said, I'm planning on having, potentially replacing the trash can Mac Pro with one MacBook Pro and uh, two of these 5K displays. I've tried Final Cut on this video, on this machine already. I'm gonna edit this video in Final Cut Pro on this. So if you never see this video, then it didn't work or I gave up. But this is exactly what Apple was kind of touting and showing off at the MacBook Pro event, which kind of makes me feel like the Mac Pro is dead, which means like if I'm a, if I'm a Final Cut editor, I kind of have to get on board with this laptop setup. And editing with a laptop is crazy. It doesn't make a lot of sense to make that your full-time machine 
but I guess it's kind of nice that I'll be able to just pack it up and go. I'm gonna need a lot of adapters to do that, but at least it's possible. So look, I'm gonna give this a shot. You can consider this part one of the video series of me trying out the maxed out MacBook Pro and the external display. Hopefully the next one gets here soon. Uh, if I end up liking this enough, that's kind of weird to look at myself. So if I end up liking this setup enough, I will be replacing my Mac Pro with it. If I don't end up liking it enough, then you'll hear all about what I don't like about it and what it can do better and what I end up switching to because the Mac Pro, let's be fair, is aging quite a bit for me. So let me know what you guys want to see in part two. This has been your intro. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching and I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Peace.